Hello and welcome back to a short by Tiny tutorial on how to add mods to your DayZ server with Omega Manager. So the first things first, you want to go to this website that's linked in the description. You want to sign in with an account that already owns DayZ, and all you want to do in this domain name box is put your server IP in. Press you agree to the Steam Web API terms of use and press register. So my key is going to be blocked out, but all you want to do is you're, you're going to want to copy your key, and then you're going to want to minimize this. You're going to want to go to your documents. And you're going to want to go to uh, Documents, Omega Manager, and Manager Folder. All you want to do is scroll down to the bottom. The username and password, what you've just uh, signed in with on the website, should be in these boxes. And you want to put your API key in this box here. All you want to do is save your file and then launch up Omega Manager. So now I'm going to load Omega Manager. I'll come back once it has loaded because of this may show sensitive information. So our Omega Manager has finally loaded. So you will see a notification come down here in the bottom right. So all you want to do once it's loaded is you want to go to your internet and type in localhost it's colon 8081. So now your server may be running. All you want to do is press the shutdown button and wait for that to happen. So once we've done that, all we want to do is go to overview. And as you can see, it doesn't require an API key anymore as we already, already entered that. So all you want to do is press mod configuration. And now we can add mods. So I'm going to sort by name, not name, sorry, subscriptions. And as you can see, the most common subscribe mod is CF, as this is usually required for all mods to run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that. I'm going to press save changes. Press OK. Go back and press install and track mods now. So it's asking me for my code as I have that enabled, but you shouldn't. So I'm going to enter that now. It's going to enter. It might ask me for my code again, but that's fine. It's downloading the item. And as you can see, it's a downloaded item. So that's good. So now we're going to minimize that. We're going to press um, start. And as you can see, CF Tools is installed. That's good. So now you're wondering, how do I get my server to show up on the DAISY SA launcher? So what we're going to do is go to DAISY SA. We're going to Google DAISY SA launcher and you're going to go to the top link and you should see this page. What you want to do is you want to press check server. So now you've got to read what it's asking you for. So it's asking for your server IP and your Steam queue report. So what you can do is go back to Omega Manager. And once you're on Omega Manager, you want to get your IP. So if you don't know how to get your IP already, I'll show you. So what you want to do is go back down here and type in CMD or command prompt here. And what you want to do is run the command IP config. After you've done that, all you want to do is get the IPv4 address and copy that. Once you've copied that, you go back over here and you enter it in here, but you don't press check server yet. You want to do a colon and you want to get a Steam key report. So when you want to go back to Omega Manager, you want to copy that port, press copy, and there we go. So now what we want to do is make sure the server is running, it is, and you want to press check server. And as you can see, our server has been added to the DAISY SA launcher. So if we go back here, you can see that is our server. So what you might want to do now is you want to go to overview. You want to go to actions. And you press restart internal mod server. What this will do is it'll tell Daisy SA to um, update, and it may take up to 15 minutes to update, but it should be added on the list. So now you should be on the Daisy SA launcher list, and you have successfully added a mod to your server. If you are, if you want to add another mod, all you go to, all you need to do is go to overview, mod configuration, type in the name of your mod. Let's say I want a trader. And all I would do is I would press that add button and press save. So there, thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope it helps you.